Statistically speaking, New York contributed more than almost any other northern state to the Union war effort. It was the most populous state in the Union in 1861 and contributed almost a half a million men in 300 regiments to the federal armies. Additionally, New York City, the nation's financial center, was a major manufacturing center and shipyard that built, among other things, the USS Monitor. But beneath the statistics, New York was a deeply divided state, particularly over slavery. In the upstate regions, abolitionist sentiment was strong, which helped give the Empire State's electoral votes to Abraham Lincoln in a hotly contested 1860 presidential election. But in the city, where the merchant class had close ties to southern slaveholders, southern sentiments ran strong. So strong, in fact, that the city's outspoken mayor, Fernando Wood, called for the city to secede from the Union as an independent nation. Though this effort failed, support for the Union war effort was weaker in the city area than it was in the upstate regions. This doesn't mean, however, that New York City didn't provide some excellent fighting men to the Union Army. Some of the most famous regiments from New York, the 5th New York, Duryea Zulavs, or the famous Irish Brigade 69th Regiment, were recruited in what we now know as the five boroughs of New York City. But the vast majority of New York troops came from the northern and central parts of the state. This included Emory Upton's 121st Regiment, the 124th Regiment from Orange County, and Patty O'Rourke's Rochester Regiment, the 140th New York. These men fought in both theaters of the war, primarily in the east, but some regiments, like the 102nd and 78th New York behind me, fought in the western theater in the later half of the war. New York was also home to a number of the Civil War's most famous generals. This included Governor Kemble Warren, the aforementioned Emory Upton, and of course, who could forget, the infamous Daniel Edgar Sickles. Whether on the battlefield or on the home front, it's hard to overestimate the impact New Yorkers had on the Civil War. One only has to walk around any one of the Civil War battlefields and see how many New York monuments there are to understand just how much New Yorkers contributed to the Civil War effort.